Assalamu alaikum guys how are you hope everyone is doing great uh, this is lecture number 10 for the series of lecture for water supply and wastewater management in previous lecture lecture number 9 we have discussed water supply design considerations right and then we discussed the components of water scheme Future, future water requirements, economical periods of design, what kind of factors are there and what is the relationship of those factors with the design period. Either they are inversely proportional or directly proportional. And then we discuss the typical curve, cost curve, typical average cost curve. And then we discussed design flows and design periods for water supply components. What are design flows and what are design periods for different components of water supply like different components include water, a source of pure water supply uh, and then water treatment plant pump installations distribution system all these are your supply components and we have discussed design flow and design period for each component and then after that we did one problem we solved one problem in today's uh, lecture lecture number 10 we are going to do we are going to solve further two more problems so that we we have more practice about the topic so let's start with the problem number two as i always used to say that before starting to solve any problem the first and important thing is to understand the statement what is asked in the statement what is given in the statement and then what you are supposed to find in the statement so let's read it out problem number two a small community had a population of 65,000 and 85,000 in year 1995 and 2005 respectively respectively means 1995 65,000 population and in 2005 the population increased to 85,000, right? Assuming a geometric growth rate. In previous problem two, we have assumed the geometric growth rate. And in this problem, we are again assuming the geometric growth rate and another thing which is given is an average, WC means water consumption, an average water consumption of 300 liter per capita per day. This is the water consumption of this community. Now they are what they are asking us to calculate calculate the design flow we are supposed to calculate the design flow for the treatment plant and second thing is the transmission main from current year select an appropriate value for design period right we have we need to find two things design flow first thing is design flow and the second thing is the transmission main from current years so let's start with the solution First, the given data to us is PF, the present population is 65,000, future population in 2005 is 85,000. The difference between two is 10 years, right? 1995 to 2005. So, for solution, we have a formula. We didn't uh, discuss this formula previously, but you guys will. You guys need to remind this formula to solve the problem look at it let me zoom it in so this is an important formula what is pf pf is future population future population is equal to present population multiplied by log and the power is k n k what is k we have discussed in the previous problem k k is the number of person using water per year it's number of person and n is the difference between the years what is the difference difference is 10 years so n will n is going to be 10 so the formula we can write for n is n is equal to pf minus p naught and that is the year not the uh, population 1995 minus uh, 2005 minus 1995 so now we will put the values in this equation to get the value of k because k is not given right we have pf we have p naught we have n but we don't have k 
So we will put the values in this equation. All the values are given. From that we can find the k. k will be 0 0.0268% per year. This is the increment ratio, right? After finding k, the next step will be for transmission net design period. As we know that for transmission lines, the design period is 25 years. We discussed in the slide. Let me show you. Transmission means 25 to 50 years, right? 25 years. So we put the design years 25. Design period is 25 years, and what will be the design year? That will be 2037. Because uh, right now the uh, year given was 2005. And then we are supposed to design it for the year 2037. And treatment plant, for treatment plant, the design period is 15 years. We have discussed in the previous class. Let me check it out. What was that? Design period for treatment plant. to 15 years design period is 10 to 15 years so we are considering 15 years so then design year will be 2027 right these are the things we we are supposed to remind then the future population for transmission means and then treatment plant we will find this both separately first we will find the future population for transmission means for transmission means we already have all the values we will put the values but what will be the difference between these two for transmission man the design year is 2037 and for treatment plant 2027 so the only difference is these years so we will put 2037 for transmission and man's and from transmission plant we will put 2027 then we will get the future population for both for future population for transmission man is this one and the future population for treatment plant is 153,277.7 actually population should not be in points we, we can round it up like we will round it up to 8 and this will be this will remain seven and next thing we need to find is maximum daily water consumption what will be the maximum daily water consumption as we know that we have discussed in our previous lectures that to find maximum daily water consumption we we need to multiply the average daily water consumption with 1.5 right in the problem statement we are we are already given with the average daily water consumption which is 300 let me show you water consumption average water consumption is 300 liters per capita per day is given so we will multiply that with 1.5 and we will get 400 liters per capita per day is the maximum daily consumption now as we already find the population for transmission mains and treatment plants now we need to find the capacity for transmission mains and capacity for treatment plant right while finding the capacity for transmission mains, we will use the population of transmission mains and the for capacity of treatment plant, we will use the population of treatment plant. So the population of transmission mains was this one, right? We will multiply it with the maximum daily consumption, maximum daily water consumption. We will get the answer. We will get the capacity of transmission mains, which is 90,174.2 meter cube per day. This is the capacity of transmission mains. And the capacity of treatment plant, for that we will multiply the population of treatment plant with the maximum daily consumption. Then we will get 68,974.96 meter cube per day. This will be the capacity of treatment plant. 
destroy it. So numerical is a numeric problem number two ends here. I hope you guys got the whatever we are trying to find. Whatever they have asked in the problem number two. Let's move to the problem number three. In problem number three, the present um, the statement is saying that the present population of a community is 160,000, increasing at a geometric growth of 0.043 per year. Right. The present population is given, which is this one, but this population is increasing in a geometric growth, geometric rate, and the rate is also given 0.043 per year this is the rate at which the population is increasing then the present water requirement to, uh, of the community are fully met by a number of tube wells installed in the city right now the community is uh, the requirement of the community for water is being fulfilled by various tube wells which are installed in the city and the average water consumption is 350 liter per capita per day using a design period of 15 years right this is all the information for the present population of the community and what they are asking us to find they are asking us to calculate the number of additional tube wells we need to find the number of tube wells of 3.4 meter cube per minute capacity to meet a demand of the design period like the design period is 15 years so we we need to now find the number of tube wells we, we need after 15 years right with a capacity of 3.4 meter cube per minute so we need to find the number of tube wells after 15 years let's go to the solution the given data is average Daily uh, average daily water consumption is given, which is 350 liter per uh, liter per capita per day, and the design period we we are supposed to design is for 15 years, and the present population is given, which is 160,000, and the rate is also given. Rate of population increment is 0.043, right? So the end result is that we need to find the tube wells number of tube wells right for that we first need to find the future population after 15 years because we our design period is 15 years right we will put all the values and we will get mm, the population after 15 years the population will be 304957.92 after 15 years what will be the addition population this is the future population this is the present population when we subtract them this is the increment in the population so in the community 144957.92581449584 people will increase after 15 years this is the additional population So what will be the total water consumption of the new population which is added which will be added after 15 years we need to multiply with the daily consumption and population we will get the total water consumption this is the total water consumption per day if you convert it into meter cubes it will become 50,735 meter cubes per day this is the total water consumption of the additional population the population which has been added after 15 years that that population will consume this much of water and then the capacity of tube well what is the capacity of tube well the capacity of tube well is uh, 3.4 meter cube right So we will multiply all three dimensions and we will get the capacity of tube well which is 4896 meter cube per day this will be the capacity of tube well which we are asked 
calculate the number of additional tube wells of 3.4 meter cube per minute capacity this is the capacity so the next thing is we need to find number of tube wells in two ways the first case is with storage overhead reservoir and then second case is no overhead reservoir when there is no overhead reservoir what will be the requirement of uh, tube wells and what will be the requirement of tube wells if we have overhead reservoir with storage let's first start with the uh, when we have the overhead reservoir in that case the maximum daily maximum daily water consumption is equal to 1.5 multiply by average daily water consumption 1.5 multiply by average water consumption which is 50 we have find this water consumption we will multiply that and we will get 76102.9 meter cube per day this will be the maximum daily water consumption when we have overhead reservoir present in the population of that community in that case the number of tube wells will be for to find number of tube wells we need to divide the total uh, we need to divide maximum daily water consumption with tube well capacity obviously when we divide the maximum daily consumption to the capacity of tube well we will find number of tube wells so in that case we need 16 tube wells after 15 years to overcome the requirement of the water for that population when we have overhead reservoir but if we don't have any overhead water reservoir for that community then what will be the requirement of tube wells in that case we need to first find the peak hourly flow peak hourly flow is equal to 2.25 multiplied by total water consumed we also discussed this formula in our previous lectures to find peak hourly flow we need to multiply 2.25 to the uh, to total water consumption so 2.25 is multiplied by total water consumption we already found it 50735.2 when we multiply this we will get 114154.4 meter cube per day this is peak hourly flow now to find number of tube wells we have to divide this peak hourly flow to the capacity of tube well when you divide it you will get 24 so the answer is that actually we are asked to find the number of additional tube wells right additional tube wells so we need additional 16 tube wells when there is overhead reservoir present and we need 24 tube wells if there is no overhead reservoir present so that's it i think uh, we have solved problem number 2 and problem number 3 so for now for today's class it's uh, we are done so inshallah we are we will come up with our new topic for the series of water supply and wastewater management lectures in next le next lecture lecture number 11 we will come up with new a uh, topic for the subject so till then goodbye and take care see you guys in next class